I think a filmmaker's legacy is in the work itself and one of the things you would like to see happen is that people understand where, who did what, what contribution was by which individual. However, at the end of the day, nobody makes a film or a television program on their own. As uh, I think Mel Brooks said, you know, the toughest part about making film is putting those little holes in the side. And it, it's true. You, it, it, as facetious a remark as that might be, but you know what? How you record the image is very important. The type of film, the type of emulsion. Somebody has to go and make those decisions of this is the chemical balance we're gonna put into this film and then you have to decide which film we're gonna use. Or somebody else decides and then somebody decides, well, what color should I paint the sets knowing that this is the type of film we're using? How should we light those sets? How should we edit that together? It is that collaborative process that makes film and television so unique and so very special. What is your favorite piece of your father's work? <laughs> oh, I, I, I think it, it, it's hard to narrow it down, but one, one shot that, that really kind of distills so much of him is the shot the, the matte painting did for Spartacus. It just really resonates. It, it just works. It's one of those shots that just work, and it's a lot of painting in there, and it's very difficult to make a lot of painting work. Why do you think it works? I think because he has a sense of the drama that there's cloud shadows in it, and nine out of ten people doing a shot like that would never consider putting in cloud shadows, and the composition and how your eye works and gets the sense, and the key is does it move the story forward? Does it say what it's supposed to say? And it does. And that's it. And it works. And why it works sometimes is very hard. It's hard to break it down because it's just as hard many times to say, well, why isn't this shot working? Gosh, it doesn't work. Let's cut it in. Ah, it still doesn't work. Well, why not? Well, there are no signs. There's no arrows pointing. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes it just never works.